Your exercise goal, great work, Charlotte. Boom! Ten days worth of subs accompanied by the match of the day theme song because football's coming back, people, which means Liverpool's time is coming. Deal with it. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. For today's episode we are kicking it off with the restock of the old vitamins. As you guys know recently, probably around about January. I'm going to say January, I started taking vitamins because they actually sent me a vitamin supplement bundle which um, if you actually look on the site is pretty much just the essentials. It's a multivitamin and a couple of other bits. I think there's zinc in there and maybe a fish oil. That alongside like glucosamine and stuff like that kind of kickstarted my, my vitamin supplement regime. And now every 10 days, rather than getting out all of the individual tubs every single day, I actually put 10 days worth into my little tub like you guys just saw. Um, and it's just so much easier, so much quicker, so much simpler. I and mean, then I can just reach for them every single day when the time comes. So. It is mid-morning right now, and I'm gonna have my mid-morning snack. If you know, you know. So I'm gonna give you an official taste test for the first time. I've used muscle food for about six years. I'm pretty sure these have been a thing for about four of those six years. Um, spicy marinated chicken on a stick. I've never actually tried it, uh, let alone on camera. I've never tried it full stop. So I'm gonna give you guys a full taste test of this rather delicious smelling mid-morning snack. So, oh, it's a bit sticky. Mind you, it does say sticky. <laughs> oh, smells freaking awesome. Look at that, people. Look at that. Can't have a barbecue right now? No worries. Pick yourself up one of these. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that, people. Absolutely amazing. You can't see that. No, you can. Incredible. I don't even know why I'm surprised. Someone's going to Photoshop that, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, aren't you? Look at the smile that's on her face. Find your toy. Come here then. Good girl. Come. Now sit. Good girl. You want this? Huh? You want this? Huh? Oh, rubbish kick from me there. Apologies. Terrible kick, human. Try again, please. I lie down. Good for you, human. You kick again, please. Thank you. Can't help but wonder every single day what on earth is going on inside that innocent, cute, weirdo little pup. I can't imagine what is going on inside her little brain. Obviously, she still has to have those tablets and everything to keep her, uh, well, alive. So I just wonder. I just wonder because she is really, really clever. She is a really smart dog. But she's so dopey at the same time. She's just so dope. Like, if you tell her to bring it here, she knows how to fetch and all this kind of stuff. If you tell her to fetch it or whatever, she'll just nudge it. And she's like, well, it's, it's there. Like, I, I have fetched it. It's here. Like, they, they go, whoop, there it is. Whoop. <laughs> Let me know some of your funny pet stories in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what's going on in her head. I wish I could, if I could have a superpower, it would be to read animals' minds, be able to talk to animals. Like, just go down the woods and speak to a friggin', I don't know, beaver or something. So, I haven't been able to train now, properly, for a long time. Here I am still in the home gym, but I have not been able to use it um, through no fault of my own. I've been ill, or well, not not ill, I've not been like, well, I was, I was pretty bad for a couple of days, but I've just pretty much had a really bad stomach bug, um, and so I can't 
tense still even now i can't tense my core like i feel better now i feel fine but then i also i'm, I'm aware that i'm not 100 percent because it feels like someone's grabbing my inside you know so I've, just, I've got back to normal eating and stuff now so that side of things is fine but i don't want to then just jump into the gym because i'm just not ready for it there's no there's no real sense of urgency for me to do so i've got no competition or anything like that like this is my kind of chill time where i where i could afford to be ill if you like um that sounds stupid there's never a good time to be ill but whichever way you go about it whichever way you look at it I haven't trained for probably um, eight, nine days now. I've not even done cardio, nothing like that. I just completely wrote it off. Not even an option. I couldn't I couldn't on some days. I, I probably could now. Like right now, I do have an urge to kind of just jump on the bike, um, which is good, which means I'm getting back to normal, but I'm just not quite there yet. I'm just not. While this is a good thing, because I felt like I listened to my body and I did all the right things and all this kind of stuff, um, it has meant that I am looking a little bit floppy in the old mirror. I'm looking, I just feel a bit flat. I think it's all in my head, really because you know Charlotte has done her bit of her girlfriend bit and told me that I look fine and what was that you okay puppy you okay I heard a slam the doors open so I think it just slammed but anyway I'm excited to actually get using this properly I feel like I've only used it a couple of times obviously I filmed that video with the Apple watch I trained with it um, I did hit cardio with Charlotte a few times with it but other than that I've not really used it properly and so I'm excited to to actually get back into the gym and back into the swing of things, shall we say, um, properly, you know? Because um, I, I do miss it, especially when it is right here every single day. Um, I do see it every day, I just haven't been able to use it as of late. In terms of how much I weigh, I really don't know. I don't think it's that bad because my eating hasn't been um, great. If I've just kind of eaten very plain things, you know, to settle the stomach down and all that kind of stuff. Um, it was necessary, trust me. I don't think I'm going to really put any weight on, not as much as I thought I would have. Um, and bearing in mind, I've been on this muscle food thing, the calorie deficit thing for three, four days now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be okay sort of thing weight wise. Basically any kind of um, additional water weight or whatever, you know, that I did have from eating cake at my birthday and all this kind of stuff, that's going to be gone now. And so, well, pretty much anyway, there are thereabouts. It's going to be a bit higgledy piggledy for a few days, but I'll definitely weigh myself over the next couple of days um, properly. Because to be honest, it's interesting for myself as well. One of the reasons I love um, weighing myself, I don't necessarily uh, advise it, but one of the reasons I do love weighing myself on such a regular basis is um, I learn more about my body, I learn more about myself, and that is what I love doing with stuff like this muscle food thing, stuff like Lodo, and just meals in general, weighing myself morning and night, tracking what I'm eating. I can find out more about my own body and how my own body reacts to certain things. Um, obviously, the past few days kind of just been a write-off, but you know, shit happens. I am very excited though to get back on track with this, start hitting some numbers again, start decreasing the weight again, because we have the plan, you know? I'm pretty sure Christian gave us some shredding date, and it was October, it was either 10th or 12th. Let me know in the comment section down below. He said in his latest video when the, when the summer shredding um, in-person competition was going to be. And so I assume that the, the online competition final date will be the same day as well. I'm pretty sure it was October 10th. Flipping it, I can't remember why. Anyway, we need to get back on track because we got a competition to win, people. Now I know it's not a frigging proper bodybuilding competition. However, it is the only competition I'll be entering um, for now anyway. So it's our, our best shot. We want to give it everything. I mean, let's be honest about but these 60, 80 or thousand people that enter that competition. So, you know, we just got to do our best, do our bit, just be a little bit better than we were yesterday. And that's all we can do. If we win, we win. That's sick. If we don't, then to the winners. <laughs> task of the day is to send off these joggers and um, actually from my Depop which is the same uh, username as my Instagram which is LJ underscore fitness. Instagram is linked in the description box but I always forget to put the Depop in there so just download the app and um, search for it yourself. I always send these things and your packages for um, t-shirts and stuff. I also send those um, first class everything like that. I never make any money on shipping um, I hate it when people try and do that, um, so I always make a loss one way or another on shipping. So um, yeah, this will be shipped to um, Stuart first class as of in about 20 minutes time. Bang them in like that, fold this over like that, stick that on like that, and jobs are good in. 
go and check it out. There's some good kind of old school, good condition, the Gymshark, uh, Alpha Lead. There's some machine fitness stuff on there. Um, it's good. Go and check it out. Decent prices. I give you a good price. First bit of proper caffeine. Well, not proper caffeine. First bit of caffeine um, for how long, babe? A week? A week and a half. Probably a good 10 days or so, yeah. something like that. So... I don't know, I, ju I just fancy it to be honest. Um, I'm not gonna be able to finish the entire thing. I'm probably not gonna finish the entire thing. It's a, it's a little bit fizzy still, you know, for, for the old gut, but we shall see. So uh, here goes nothing. Ah, oh, crap. I caught it and everything mm. and I flipped it, but I caught it the wrong way around. Oh. <laughs> so you need, to, you need to flip it in a certain direction so that it doesn't spin yeah. when you do it, so. Oh. You did it again? Yeah. I'm out of practice. Yeah. There we go. Uh oh. It's too busy now. <sighs> oh yeah. Not too much of it, but you want some? No. I'll give it ya. If you want some, I'll give it ya. <sighs> so why would you have a home gym set up like this and not use it? Well, I think I kind of went through um, that a little bit earlier and um, to save going through TMI you know we will go with what I said earlier but you know you can draw your own conclusions from that. What I'm interested in doing now is setting myself goals as to how I can get back on track not only with the diet and everything like that I will show you that coming soon but we're training. I'm setting myself the goal over the next week, so seven days. What is the date as of today? It is the first, Monday the 1st of June. So today is actually the first of the month and it is a Monday. That's pretty cool. I love it when that happens because it's like, yes, goals. So we are going to set ourselves some goals until, not until, by the 7th of June, I would like to have trained three times. Now, I actually haven't trained properly since the middle of May because it was my birthday on the 19th and then we had my dad's birthday and then I got ill. I basically haven't trained properly for two weeks, but I haven't trained full stop for a good 10 days or so now, right? So, I don't want to then just jump back into my quite intense five-day plan, right? I don't want to just do that. I, that, was, that would not be wise at all. So, what I'm going to do is set myself the goal of training three times. One of those times will be a push focused full body day. One of those times will be a pull focused full body day. And one of those other times, the final time, will be a leg focused full body day. So the reason, the reason I'm following, <clears throat> wow, <clears throat> excuse me, apologies. <clears throat> the reason I will be following a full day plan, um, a full body plan, sorry, um, is because it is slightly less taxing on the body with the way that I will structure it. I can essentially decrease the volume and take it easy and ease myself back into it. And once I'm done with that week of training, I'll do, <clears throat> whoa. Once I've done with that week of training, I'll include cardio um, on the spin bike, maybe once or twice, depends on how I feel. But once that week is done, um, I'll kind of reassess how I feel, reassess how the numbers were, and then kind of go from there and build my training back up. Because the thing the mistake people make, especially when they have been ill, is they, <clears throat> boom, go straight back into it. Or when they've been injured, they boom, go straight back into it. It's like, well, no, because if you take six months off, you're not then going to be able to do the exact same thing straight away. Yes, muscle memory is a thing, and I'm not gonna have done that much damage and not really training properly for like two weeks. But you get the point, the principle still stands. I'm not gonna jump straight back into it, especially when I might train tomorrow, it depends how I feel. I'm gonna, um... Yeah, I'll train tomorrow. I'll probably train tomorrow, but keep it light, you know, like keep it light, keep it steady, get the muscles flowing, get the joints moving, get the blood pumping, all that kind of stuff. That will be the focus of this next week of training. So I'm looking forward to getting into it. I'm looking forward to tackling it and then following on from that, hopefully hitting some numbers as well. I said I'd hit the 100 kg OHP. I honestly can't see that happening for another, um, at least two weeks. I've got to get back into the swing of things before I try. I have some training videos that I want to film and all this kind of stuff. And it would just be dumb. It would just be so dumb to not train or not even shoulder press anything for friggin' ages and then try and do the most taxing thing that I've ever done on my body twice straight away. It would just be dumb. So that's gonna happen, just not yet. So that is it. That is the plan, people, for the next couple of weeks anyway. Um, and if that changes kind of in that time, because if I do start to feel better and I'm fine in the gym, we'll 
potentially go back to the no normal routine um, a little bit earlier, but as and when we'll decide that, just entirely dependent upon you know how I feel on the day or on the days or just as the days go by. I don't know, I, I don't know. I've never had this specific kind of illness before, so I've never recovered from it and gone back into the gym. Um, so we'll see, it'll be a learning journey, it'll be quite interesting. But that is it people, if you have enjoyed, please do me a massive favour, cost you zero pennies, takes two seconds and really, 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 really helps me out. If we can smash 75 likes on this video, it will do better than the last one. It is a simple fact, the comments were down, the likes were down, so it didn't do as well. It is as simple as that people, drop it a like, please, it costs you nothing and it's seriously, 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 seriously helps us out. Well, I think every single YouTuber begs you for it because it really, really does help. I appreciate you all. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow. Big things coming, people. Big things. Once we are recovered, I have some interesting shit for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.